to read. Mm -hmm. Das hat jemand schaut auf meine Stimme. Wahnsinn. <lacht> Okay. I don't know how long I can. Yeah, Wahnsinn. Yeah, uh, für was nicht? Was soll das mean? What does that mean? Yeah, für was? Ich muss lesen. Uh, sorry, no, I don't know who you are and uh, what, what you are doing. Just this or the whole thing? The first paragraph. I mean, what's this for? I don't understand. Well, the Cantonese, uh, I cannot understand that. No, no, I'm not going to read that because the last part. I'll just read it a little bit. Huh? He, he, he can read it better than I can. But look, look, look at this one, but not this one. Look at it and see it. Read it first. <laughs> Ich kenne mich nicht gut aus. Und warum nur sagen Sie, dass ich das vorlesen muss? Und was hat das jetzt zu bedeuten? This one. Fertig? This one until here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The final master stroke at last imposed. And now the neat machine completely closed. Fitting his pinions on, a flight he tries, and hung self-balanced in the beaten skies, and thus instructs his child, My boy, take care, to wing your course along the middle air. If low, the surges wet your flagging plumes. If high, the sun the melting wax consumes. Steer between both, nor to the northern skies, nor south, Orion, turn your giddy eyes, but follow me, let me before you lay rules for the flight and mark the pathless way then teaching with a fond concern his son he took the untried wings and fixed them on but fixed with trembling hands and as he speaks the tears roll gently down his aged cheeks then kissed and in his arms embraced him fast but knew not this embrace must be the last
Also wenn ich jetzt da anfange, da, von da anfange oder von hier anfange, also fange ich mal an, dann wird gerüstet der Sohn. Ich warne dann wird dich, gerüstet der Sohn. Icarus, ich warne dich, Icarus, sprach er. er. Flieg auf der mittlersten Bahn, dass nicht, wenn gesenkter du hinfährst, Wasser die fittiche Laste. Wasser die fittiche Laste, wenn steigender Glut dich versenke. Wenn steigender Glut dich versenke. Schwebe von beiden entfernt, nicht Helise oder Brotes. Schaue mir rechts, noch links das gezogene Schwert des Orion. Des Orion. Hinter mir eile den Weg. Zugleich die Gebote des Fluges lehrt er und fügt an die Schultern die ungewohnte Beschwingung. Hoch aus dem Nest entführt die schwächliche Brut in der Luft. Und er ermahnt den Begleiter und lehrt ihm schädliche Künste. Okay, gut. Selbst die also, Seinigen regt und er er auf den die Flügel und lehrt ihm schädliche Künste. Selbst die Seinigen regt er und schaut auf die Flügel des Sohnes. Mancher, indem er Fische mit schwankenden Rohre sich angelt oder gelehnt an den Stecken, in dem er Fische sich angelt oder gelähmt auf den Stecken ein Hirt auf die Stürze der Pflüger sah. Die beiden erstaunt und wende himmlische Wehrs, welche die Luft durchhalten. Und schon die jononische Samus das ist zu schwer für mich. Unwinding upward as he wings his flight. Back on his chart, he turns his akin side. As parent birds, when first their carlo care, leave the high next to tempt the liquid air. The thesis came on and off with fatal art. Reminds the stripling to perform his part. as the angler at the silent brook, or mountain shepherd leaning on his crook. Or gaping ploughman from the veil disguise, they stare and view him with religious eyes. Oh father, father, as he strove to cry, down to the sea he tumbled from on high, and found his fate, yet still subsists by fame, among those waters that retain his name. The father, now no more a father, cries, Lo Icarus, where are you? as he flies. Where shall I seek my boy? he cries again, and saw his feathers scattered on the main. Then cursed his aunt, and funeral rites conferred, naming the country from the youth interred.
My first flight. And my first flight. Yeah, I remember my first flight. And my first flight. And my first flight. Yes, I remember my first flight. Uh, my first flight was to Barcelona. Flight six. Um, yeah. I flew to London. From Bombay. Uh, this was. Uh, no, it was first. Yes, my first flight was back in 1967. 1980. And I flew from very young. Tucson, Arizona to St. Louis. Because I've always liked that, the, the, the English culture and English language and that stuff. You know, I was always a Beatles fan. You had to go there and see it. With aircraft a lot of my life, um, I was involved in the petite test of Concorde many years ago, before it, obviously before it flew, and uh, during the 1990s I got a pilot's license, so uh, I have always been interested in it. I was first with 18, with my, as I was 18, was the first time I flew. Mein Flug nach ja, Deutschland, nach aus Russland. Mallorca, ja, nach Mallorca. Da war ich ein Baby. <lacht> so a long time ago. I think I do, yeah. Yes. I'm not sure if it was the really my first flight, absolute uh, first one, but I, I remember was, uh, going on a flight alone with my sister. 15, 16, and we um, my father the took me to an air day at had to look after us because we weren't with an adult. And, we and that was really exciting. We got to hand out the lollies and go uh, up to the cockpit and have a look. Maschine war von... Ja! In the Türkei, naturally, from Bollekiste, from Stamm, the floor, the bar, the chair. As I stand in the flugzeug, saß, as my abgehoben war, eigentlich gar kein Problem, ja. Ich hätte schon normalerweise schon einen Angst haben. Ja, ich hätte schon einen Angst haben. Der Kapazität war 4, 8, 20 Leute. Vollbar. Kleine Maschine, weißt du, quasi zu groß. Damals. Das ist interessant, dass man ein bisschen auf Reisen geht. Ich hätte schon einen Angst haben. you reach your check-in desk, your check-in luggage will be screened. Please follow the signs to find the right entrance to the screening area. Go to the screening area before going to the check-in desk. Can you take the jacket off, please? Uh, would you, um... Place your check-in luggage on the conveyor belt of the screening device. Place the following items in the baskets provided, e.g. watch, large belt buckles, keys, cellular telephones. Place the following items in the bins provided, your jacket, 
code, etc. When the security staff member indicates that you should do so, please move through the metal detector quickly. If the metal detector sounds an alarm, a follow-up check will be made with a handheld probe to identify the object that triggered the alarm. In addition, a passenger will be frisked. Even the artificial place or limb. If an item in your hand luggage is not readily identifiable during screening, a separate check of the contents of the bag will be carried out in your presence. If you are carrying cameras, laptops or other electronic devices, you may be asked to switch them on briefly to show that they work.
When Apollo mission astronaut Neil Armstrong first walked to Morton the Moon, he not only gave his famous one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind statement, but he followed it by several remarks, usual com traffic between him, the other astronauts and mission control. Before he entered the lander, he made the enigmatic remark, good luck Mr Gorski. Good luck Mr Gorski. Good luck Mr Gorski. Met people at NASA thought that this was a casual remark concerning some rival Soviet cosmonauts. However, upon checking, there was no Gorsky in either the Russian nor the American space programs. We have, uh, we have no complaints with any of those agents uh, on that, that ride. 25 minutes ELSS time expected to reach the Over the years, many people have questioned him as to what the good luck statement meant. On July 5th, 1997, in Tampa Bay, Florida, while answering questions following a speech, a reporter brought up the 26-year-old question to Armstrong. He finally responded. It seems that Mr. Gorski had died, and so Armstrong felt he could answer the question. When he was a kid, Neil was playing baseball with his brother in the backyard. His brother hit a fly ball which landed in front of his neighbor's bedroom window. The neighbors were Mr. and Mrs. Gorski. As he leaned down to pick up the ball, he heard Mrs. Gorski shouting at Mr. Gorski. RL6. RL6, you want? You, want. you, you get RL6 when the kid makes the door works on the moon. On the moon. Airport Stories by Marcus Munch Readings and interviews with passengers from airport stations and an interactive computer voice. The readings contains extracts from Ovid's Metamorphoses and Internet Stories. The piece also uses treated sound documents from the Apollo 11 mission. All instruments Sampling and programming by Marcus Munch. All music and sounds are composed, recorded and produced by Marcus Munch between 2004 and 2006.
This is your computer. Fasten your seatbelts. Ready for takeoff.